welcome to Psychic Sid. I am a psychic shaman medium seer. I connect to deceased loved ones and spirit guides and ancestors and archangels of the light. My services are linked down below in the description box. You can also find my own two social media accounts. Snapchat and Instagram. The song that's currently playing for you is Beyonce. Hold up. Okay. You can call in your deceased loved ones, spirit guides, ancestors, archangels of the light for a sign, signal, symbol, synchronicity that this reading is for you. All right. And if you feel like there's someone out there that can resonate with this reading, feel free to share it with them. All right, rather you know what to channel, the content I create, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. So the energy that you will be embodying in the future, Sagittarius, is the Queen of Pentacles, Dolly Parton, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. Her moon is actually in Virgo. Um, I'm not really sure of the rest of her chart. With all of this red, this is talking about power, courage, passion, lust, the... energy she was able to assert and allow to exude out of her allowed her to be victorious in her career you may work in the military maybe a doctor a surgeon maybe a police officer a sheriff a business owner a witch this is queen Midas. everything this woman touch turns to gold you may be a wife or a girlfriend, or you just may be someone who takes very good care of their body, okay? This is someone who's very down, you may work with nature, you may be a healer of some kind. Just her cardiologist. This is a woman that knows how to keep her money and make money. And throughout her career, she was made fun of highly because of the way she looked, the way she carried herself, the way that she went about things. But it's what made her successful because she were made true to who it is that she was who it is that she was the song that's playing for you right now is <laughs> flow millie beef i think it's the uh the beef flow millie uh flow mix beef flow mix beef flow mix by flow millie and then it's like she's very confident she's very sure of herself and where it is that she's heading, where it is that she's going. And if you're gonna get in her way, you will get ran over. That's just the energy of it. Right. We have another card coming out. The Ace of Swords, that is the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. Some of you may be well known in the public eye, you may have a in your chart, you may even be a celebrity of some kind, or you're an astrologer, you could even work with the stars, okay, you may work with actual celebrities, or you may be a celebrity that works with astrology, okay, you may work in a male-dominated field as well, you may use utensils or tools, you could be a writer as well, ooh, you're dealing with the empress, Ooh, I love that. Song that just came on for you is Outcast. Hey. You know that song was actually about a dying relationship, of a relationship that just needed to be released. That's what the song was actually about. But because it's so upbeat, you can't pick up on that. Because it's so upbeat, you can't pick up on that. You may work from home or be dealing with a drug day gorgeous woman. This, uh, this is a feminine energy that works at home with the empress. This is someone who embodies all of the queens, okay? You may work with beauty. The hermit. So there's like a, you may have... There may be a Mercury and Sagittarius here with the Hermit. I believe that there's a Virgo here. There could be an actual mentor or counselor that is helping you connect better to yourself. Knight of Pentacles. Okay? Helping you connect better to yourself. Someone who likes to write. Someone who likes to listen to music. They spend a lot of time in nature. They like to read about philosophy with the hermit. This could literally be someone who's a teacher of some kind or a mentor. 
all right it would it would be somebody who if you're in a relationship it's saying the relationship gets better with time although there's also clarity coming in about a short-term relationship some something where there's you know a lot in common but it's not meant to last for very long there's a lot of people competing for the person that you are interested in. Yeah. As I said that. Nine of Cups and King of Pentacles came out. The bottom of the deck, the Seven of Wands. All right. The sacrifice is fighting for things that don't actually make you happy. That's the sacrifice. First thing I'm noticing out of this whole spread is you have two major arcanas, the Empress and the Hermit. With the Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius, and the Hermit. You may want to drop off the face of the earth with the Hermit. You may want to elope with the Hermit, Virgo energy. Right? There's also... I feel like you actually enjoying being alone, you not minding being alone rather than dealing with anything that's not authentic. Okay. Also, something about you letting go of it, it's almost like a you may work with teeth. Some of you work with teeth, you may work as a librarian away i feel like you were you were able to leave something because of the truth aquarius super gemini leo virgo taurus capricorn aquarius because of the truth that you gave to yourself you were able to leave something there's a new job opportunity coming up for you in a male dominated work field that you're really going to enjoy with the knight of pentacles there's also communication within like the next 11 days or so from someone who you could take home to your mother with the Knight of Pentacles. This could be your son as well. You'd be hearing from a son or there's someone who's very stable. Like they, they want a commitment or a relationship. This person could work in performing arts. They are very reliable, very stable may work as a healer a doctor money military police officer sheriff of some kind the knight of pentacles coming in with a real offer someone is coming towards you with a real offer the song that just came on for you was tracy chapman fast car you You're in a fast car. In a lot of different connections, or just in your life in general, you took in on relationships where you gave a lot. You had to take care of a lot. You're coming out of this sense of isolation due to you knowing what it is that you want and what it is that you want to attract you knowing your value with the empress there's also this charisma about you this optimism about you this positivity about you that literally extends others lifespans positivity can do that with the empress and the five of wands there are many people fighting over you you could also be working in a very competitive field you may work with beauty or fashion or you're working in a field where people are competing with you. You get down to the bottom of things as well. The truth. You find the truth. There's some truth you found about conflict. I thought you own your own business. Or you're dealing with someone who does. Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius, Nine of Cups, Pisces and Jupiter. There is a sacrifice of depression, dissatisfaction, addiction, 
um, doing things out of revenge, out of not having what you want come to fruition. A sacrifice leading you to the King of Pentacles, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No longer fighting over things, Mars and Leo. No longer fighting over things that there's really no basis or no fact to um, support what it is that you're trying to fight for. Fighting for something for no reason. Fighting for something that's not worth it. Being extremely defensive. Not having up the right boundaries. You're sacrificing that. Because it's different to just have boundaries and, and just have them and know that they're there. But to exert them, that is what has happened here. Exerting them by telling your truth. Now, if you're single, there is a very drop-dead gorgeous woman coming into your life that values themselves highly. And others do as well. There are people fighting over this empress. And there is someone with the king of pentacles, could be a doctor, a healer, a surgeon, someone who wants to finance the taxes, loans, assets, money, the military, may do something very well that brings them a sense of recognition. Something in your career is not coming true with the nine of cups in reverse. But with the King of Pentacles, I do see a relationship. I do see a relationship. You may also have Libra, Aries, Scorpio, or Capricorn in your chart. There's also something about you leaving behind someone whose teeth bothered you. Someone's teeth bothered you. Or you felt like their teeth didn't make them very attractive? That's like a really weird side note. But it's in the cards, that's what I see. You've been able to identify now what is... You're able to identify now what are short-term relationships, relationships that are only meant to be around for so long. Right, meant to show you something about yourself. I think you realize anything that you've encountered was meant to show you about yourself regarding the future of your career. Avoid giving too much of yourself while neglecting your own needs. You should consider going into careers and in customer service or where fields where you're able to take care of others. Queen of Pentacles is a carer, Empress Care. You may be good at care, giving a level of care to others. Don't fear asking for help or accepting help if someone is willing to give you a hand. Okay? Let's look at the future of your finances. Next level. So your finances are going to a whole new level. You could become your own boss. You could be um, in a businessman or a middle management for some of you with the king of pentacles. The ace of swords. So you're either about to take your finances to the next level or it's time that you do. If your finances haven't improved yet, you can be certain they will soon. There's a chance of something extra in the air. Okay, extra, extra, read all about it. Let's look at the karmic lessons here. You could be falling in love with someone or you could be, you love your job. I feel like saying you love your job. You may also have Libra in your chart. Some of you are married. Okay. This is King Midas. These are counterparts. I'm dealing, this is a situation with counterparts. The Empress receives, so you're receiving an offer. It's an honest, real offer. This is what's hidden for Sagittarius. Hold on. All right. And the karmic lessons you're learning. What's hidden from you is the Magician. You may have Gemini, Aries, Virgo, or Scorpio in your chart. There's a new beginning that's hidden from you. 
And the karmic lessons that you are learning in this lifetime is Artemis. Okay. The goddess of light. Artemis is part of light itself, but most especially the aspect of the sun's light that sparkles and glints on water. She was swift-footed and fast. In myth, we are told she is found in mountainous regions where the rainwater tumbles in streams and waterfalls, reflecting and rejuvenating her light rays best. As Apollo's twin sister, she accompanied him to fight the serpent, which represents the night. Her silver bow is the crescent moon, which reflects the light of the sun. Artemis was determinedly independent, ravishingly beautiful, ravishingly beautiful, and yet disdainful and enraged by the attention of suitors. Imagine the strong light of the mighty sun hitting your eyes to understand her best. You may be dealing with a Leo or someone who's in the spotlight, someone who works in the entertainment industry. Someone who you can't take your eyes off of. It's like you can't deny this person. They're boom, bop, 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 right in front of you. And this can also be you. Imagine the strong light of the mighty sun hitting your eyes to understand her best. She was unforgiving of boastfulness and demanded respect. Artemis was one of the most powerful deities on Olympus. And she surrounds you now with powerful light, generosity, benevolence, and prosperity, which you, re which you should receive with humility and reverence. So naturally, I feel like recognition has come to you easily, okay? Like people seeing your light, people finding you attractive and beautiful and all these different things. What it's saying is your karmic lessons is humility, being able to accept compliments, being able to accept the kindness that others give you because they feel that you truly deserve it. What's hidden from you is rabbits, new beginnings, desire, Timid, a sudden increase, clever, resourceful, fertility, multiple sex and procreation. There could be a pregnancy here. Congratulations. Okay. This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Take everything that resonates. Some of you work with like cutting people open. Okay. Like you work with tools and stuff like that. I do see that out here. You could work with nature or construction, mining, agriculture, money, any of these things. This is what I have for you though. Thank you so much for being here. Beautiful reading. I say Sagittarius. Mm -hmm.